put a spell on you. Hi, my name's Sean Quirk. Um, I'm the manager and producer of Valash. Uh, I was born in 1978 in Dayton, Ohio. I grew up in the United States. Um, I went to Tuva in 2003 after working as a bike messenger in Chicago uh, and teaching myself throat singing. I received a Fulbright in 2003. Um, I have since uh, begun to live in Tuva for the last five years and um, I'm on the third tour now with Alash. Um, I've learned the Tuvan language, become a member of the Tuvan National Orchestra, um, have a Tuvan wife and a, and a baby, and um, I'm dedicated to uh, continuing cultural exchanges uh, between Tuva and the rest of the world and raising awareness in the world of our particular situation in the Republic of Tuva. I went to Tuva because I heard the music of Tuva in the year 2000 and uh, I'm a musician myself and uh, at the time I was blown away. I realized it was the music I'd, I'd always been waiting for um, as far as the music that was really going to take, uh, take me away. It changed my life and uh, over the next couple of years after I graduated college I taught myself how to throat sing uh, like the Tuvans and I realized at that time that... Uh, this was a very ancient thing and a very powerful thing that was deserving of a lot of respect and I knew that if I wanted to sing, if I wanted to continue to involve myself in the Tuvan tradition, uh, I must go to Tuva. And so that's why I applied for the Fulbright eventually and uh, yeah, I just, I, I realized that um, it was necessary, it, it was like a call for me to go there. <laughs> Um, Alash is a band that uh, started in 1999 when all of the members were first year students in the College of the Arts in Kazil. Um, I arrived, by the time I arrived in 2003, they were already a well polished ensemble um, under the artistic direction of Kongarol Andar. Um, they were some of my first friends in Tuva. Uh, They're some of my best friends, and uh, they've definitely been teachers uh, for me as far as about life in Tuva and about Tuvan music. Um, they're probably, um, in my own uh, opinion, there are a lot of good talents in Tuva, but they're definitely the best uh, ensemble of their generation. They have a great dynamic of an ensemble, everybody in the group. It's really an, an all-for-one, one-for-all sort of uh, mentality that we have. Um, we're very, very uh, egalitarian. And, um, you know, since early on in our relationship as friends even, it became clear that I was going to be able to help them bring their music to America because they were clearly ripe to start playing outside of Tuva. And so starting in early 2006, late 2005, uh, we've begun touring in America and this is now our third trip. And we're building everything from the ground up. We're a very uh, grassroots organization. Um, uh, we're, very, we're, we're a very grassroots organization and... and um, I don't know, we're trying to approach um, uh, music and, and working as musicians in a non-traditional way. We want to bring music of Tuva to as many people as possible, especially people who wouldn't otherwise have the chance to do it. Um, underprivileged people, school children, uh, disabled people, that kind of thing. We find that uh, it has a very great, um, fascinating power and it's very appealing to, to all kinds of people and not just your traditional uh, world music fans. So. With, with that mission in mind, we've had three successful tours in the United States, of which tonight is the final night of number three. <laughs> this tour, uh, right now we're in New Jersey. We're in um, our home away from home uh, in Elmwood Park, New Jersey, at the home of Magda and Marcin, um, who uh, we love very much and uh, who take care of us like family. Um, and we... Yeah, we're here for the third time, and each time we're just building on the success of the last time. We find that uh, that people are really coming to the concerts. We've had all a bunch of very successful concerts this year. We could have probably toured for a lot longer if we wanted to, but we, we need to get home for the Tuvan New Year, which is very important, the Lunar New Year, uh, which is important in many cultures.
Um, but we've played a variety of places. We've been to a lot of schools, and we always want to stick with that. We like to go to schools because we love to bring it to the school children. Not only is it something that they would not be exposed to, but uh, we just find that no matter where we are, the kids really love it. And, uh, you know, this is, of course, raising awareness in future generations about Tuva. And, and you know, we're making friends. Um, uh, we're making a lot of friends. You know, we, we played with Sun Ra again this year, which, um, you know, members of the Sun Ra Orchestra. And last year we played with Bela Fleck uh, on one of his albums, and we may be doing something with him, him later. And uh, that's our favorite dog, Shunka. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been our third uh, tour, and uh, this year we've we've we have to work very hard because we don't have any um, we don't have any big Hollywood people pulling strings for us. We're just a bunch of guys. Um, so, but but we're doing it out of love for the music, and we find that um, it's working. You know, we're we're following our bliss, and uh, you know we're we're doing what we feel we. Uh, are called to do and the results are coming on their own so we certainly just hope to uh, continue on that uh, with the with the multiple purpose not only of course of working as musicians and making f money for our families because it's very hard to live in Tuva as a musician and uh, we all have families but also for the purpose of bringing the joy of Tuvan music to a lot of people because we find it affects people in a very good way <laughs> People don't know what Tuva is, and um, aside from Tuvan music fans, and uh, Tuva is a very special region. Politically, right now, it's part of the Russian Federation, and it was been part of the Soviet Union since 1944. Um, but uh, it culturally, it, it's a culture of nomads uh, who traditionally raise livestock and also hunt, and they live in the taiga and in the steppe. And uh, it's a culture and a tradition that has grown up around a very sensitive connection with nature, a very tight connection with nature. If you look into Tuvan tradition or the Tuvan uh, life at all, you'll find a very deep connection with nature because the ecology of the taiga is so fragile that they've developed a way to live and live richly uh, within that ecology without damaging it. And it's very important, I think, their ideas of sustainability and efficiency, that they're very important for the rest of the world as the global monoculture begins to take over. Um, so, you know, we're often associated with Mongols, and the culture is somewhat similar being nomads, but there are a lot of differences. Um, it's a lot like people sometimes compare people from Wisconsin and Minnesota. You know, you all out on the East Coast think that we're the same, but if you call somebody from Wisconsin a Minnesotan, it's really bad, and, it's, and vice versa. On, that is to say, on a closer level, there's a lot of differences. But basically, you can think of it in that way. We live, Tuvan people traditionally have lived in yurts, living nomadically and uh, raising animals. Of course, nowadays, after uh, 70 years uh, under the Soviets, um, you know, we have cities in Tuva, and we have internet, and we have cars, and um, chairs, and tables. You know, one of the kids in the kindergartens asked if we had chairs. Um, but at the same time, there's still a large population uh, that is living in the traditional way, uh, moving all of the time. But it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful country. It's one of the specialist places on this earth. Um, it is certainly one of the most uh, ecologically pristine places, and it, it deserves protection. And we certainly hope to raise awareness of Tuva in order to prevent future ecological or cultural disasters uh, happening, because there are not a lot of Tuvans for the territory that we have, and it's very open to exploitation. So. We, we hope to um, get a lot of allies through our work. Um, we hope to be back in the fall on tour. We're going to come back on tour in the fall. We have some possibilities that we're lining up with uh, some gigs and some other artists. Um, but yeah, definitely in late October through November, it looks like we're, next time we're going to be back. Let's go back to the party. Sounds good. <laughs>